I mean, so I already took the top off of this one. This is the S1800, and this is the 1600, and 1450. Wow, they changed up their conventions there now, didn't they? <laughs> Basically, they're all the same saws. This one has 14 inch bar, 16 inch bar, and 18 inch bar. All three of them use 3 8 low profile, and they're all three 42 cc's. And it is clearly not a uh, strato charged type of saw or a uh, what's a what's a um, X torque. They're not strato charged X torque type of thing. Uh, this uh, just a plain Jane carburetor on there and 42 cc's. Who out there can tell me? I'll get on there. Who out there can tell me what these things are cloned after? Or if they are a clone. There we go. Um, if, uh, and then don't get me wrong. I know that, I know they're junk. But I can't help but, you know, be curious about them. And uh, whether or not I should get one and try and run it. You know what I mean? Boy, that, that design right there is putrid oh it's awful where you have the gas and the oil right side by side don't like that at all but i do love that momentary kill switch Ooh, i want to get one of those but uh or several anyways let me know if you know about these saws guys uh what they're clones of if they're not clones at all where they're made. I might be able to see where they're made. Maybe. I doubt it though. They keep that stuff kind of hidden. They'll say things like made in the United States, but you know, or it, it's actually assembled. I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. But anyways, should I get one of these and test it? Because here's the deal, right? A lot of guys are like, no, don't buy that junk thing is I run a YouTube channel and I run it for money I don't do this just because I'm being helpful so um, but things like this consumers buy them by the tens of thousands and they're wondering about them well, well that thing's only $169 I think that'll do the job and so they look for a channel to go out there and, and, and get it and run it and see if it's worth anything. And that's it. I've talked myself into it. I'm going to get one. <laughs> I'm going to get. I'm going to get the 16 incher because that seems reasonable to me. The 18 incher, no way. Come on, that's stupid. Don't be dumb. 14 inch, eh? Probably be better with that 14 inch bar, but 14 is a little small. I'll grab the 16-incher and do a video on it. We'll see how it does. Well, one could say I dodged that bullet. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and I bought one, but I bought the 14-incher because it was 169. Uh, the eight, the 16 inch was 189 and the 18 inch was, I think, 219. So I was like, well, I'll just get the 14 inch because that's probably more than, more bar than it can pull anyways. And I got all the way home with it and I was like, you know, if I do a muffler mod on that thing and even port and polish it, I'll want that 16 inch bar. And so I was like, I'm gonna bring it back and swap it out. Well, on my way back, I was like, really? You know the voices in your head, right? At least uh, I got voices in my head. But I was like, man, I didn't even get a good look at that. I'm certain it's a clamshell saw. And you know what, now that I think about it, I have seen X-Torque saws 
and and uh, what's it called? Strato charge saws. I have seen those just feeding through one carburetor. The 372 XP is like that. Um, the X Torque version. And so I was like, ah, ah, playing this game. I said, nah, I'm taking it back. So I still want to know about those saws. If you guys have any knowledge about them, it would be cool if you could share that uh, in the comments, you know. Uh, but they might be the exact same saw as the little Ryobis. I don't, I don't know. I haven't looked at those enough. But you know, 42 cc's. And if it's non-strato charged, then I might actually consider getting one of those and see if I can get it to perform decent. Because in, in all honesty, whenever you do a muffler mod and tune it right, put a better carb on a Poland Wild thing, it's not a bad little saw, you know? And maybe this one would be just like that. That's all I'm really looking at. But if it's strato charged, like the new Polands, like the brand new Poland Wild thing, not the old one. Those things suck. Those things are just so wretched and terrible. I don't want one to be anywhere near me. And if it, I was like, man, if it was, if it's like that, then that's just, you know, 170 bucks, I just wasted, you know? So I took it back. But maybe I'll get one in the future. Please let me know your comments. I'm a chainsaw dork. I buy chainsaws. <laughs> and I play with them. I play with them. If you're wondering why would you even think about Because I play with it. That's it. I like getting this. It feels really good in the hands. I mean it's got rubber coated on the handle. You know on, on the throttle handle. It looks pretty slick. I like it. It looks like a Michael Bay chainsaw, like a like it's going to be a transformer. You know what I mean? He's got a real specific style. And some of you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Michael Bay did all the Transformer movies, almost all of them. And he's got a he's got a really specific style. I don't like it, but on this chainsaw it's kind of all right. Anyways, that's enough rambling. I didn't get the saw, or at least I took it back, got my refund, and uh, and then I managed to get out of the store a second time without uh, without purchasing the 16-inch bar version. So, because that's the whole reason I took it back. I was like, I'm going to be unhappy with that 14-inch bar, and I really like the way the bars look. They look stellar. But anyways, that's enough. Later.